All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to uh, Mount Kilimawander. Sorry. Uh, yeah, welcome back to Birthdays at the Beginning. I, it's like 2 a.m. I'm really tired, but I kind of wanted to just play a little bit of this before before tonight happened, or before tonight ends. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, a number of you guys have been up. Oh, Astraspis is already dead, and we have. Andreo Lepsis. Happy birthday! It's getting nice and lively around here. Remember when I mentioned the first link of the food chain? Well, allow me to elaborate on that. Basically, strong predators feed on weak prey. It may sound cruel, but that's how organisms are connected. Without prey organisms, predator organisms can't survive. So there's a lot of life that's born to be, uh, born just to be eaten. But if the environment isn't maintained, the whole system falls apart. The food chain is a very deep connection to life. There may be fewer predators in total overall, but they require an abundance of prey to survive. So even in an ideal environment, there isn't enough. if there isn't enough prey, a new species may not be birthed. And that's enough lecturing for me. Right now you should birth Coelacanthus. Coelacanthus. There we go. Well, first and foremost, let's, let's go into micro mode. Wow. Okay, so we've got a couple of items that I... Ugh. This whole stick system is throwing me off really hard. Trying to play other games with the controller after playing this is uh, not easy. So this is the kind of deep ocean experiment that I was messing around with. Admittedly, it's not that deep, but still. Oh, there they go. I can freaking aim at them. There we go. Okay, close enough. A small fish native to various sea habitats. This creature first appeared in the ocean where flora began to thrive on land. Okay, let's back out a bit. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, let's go to first person mode for a second. Actually, we've got an item over here. Can I check my options? Can I can I change things? Options. Why is it backwards? I have no idea. That's so confusing. I I really don't know. Okay, well it doesn't matter too much. So I'm gonna, before we go too much further, I just wanted to connect these two by, like, a little C, uh, like, diagonal thingy. I don't know. A lot of you guys seem to be very unhappy with the fact that I was obs obsessed with symmetry the other day. I'm sorry about that. I just, I like, I like making beautiful, beautiful things. I'm an artist, first, and a Let's Player second, I guess. At least by, like entry into professional, um, entry into, like, I guess professional realms? I don't know. I started, I started as an animator. I went to art school. And so that's, that's where my custom thumbnails come from. Okay, seriously, this is infuriating. Alright, screw it. I've got it. I've got a mouse for the, for this exact reason. Um, but yeah, so, because I went to art school, I've always kind of had an affinity for, uh, I've always had an affinity for making, uh, things aesthetically pleasing, if at all possible. Even if it may not actually come up, come off that way. Uh, for me, I, I don't know. Some of these, they're cool. Mount Kilima Wander is cool. I like the thing. And I will do that again in heartbeat, probably. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. That's that's a happy little tributary sea shallow thing. I... Eh, whatever. Anyway. Let's see. And we have Co Colacanthus. Astraspis keeps dying off on me. There's Andreo Lepsis. No, that's the one we just got. Anyway, looks like it went well. I wonder what the birth of this life could mean. Now let's get the mouse out of here. Just as plants migrated onto land, over time, animals will too. Marine life will first evolve to be able to live on land and in water. This is believed to be the original origin of amphibians. Check game info on conditions on how to birth Ichthyostega. Well, first and foremost, we're going to go take a look at the Coelacanth. Uh, let's see. I guess we might as well grab our items first. Not that they... Okay, that makes weird sound effects. Yeah, so, interestingly enough, we needed to go deeper. 
That's fair. Holy crap. How, how deep are these guys? The answer is, um... I'm actually having trouble seeing because of how deep they are. Okay, so these guys are deep sea comparatively. Yeah, height deep sea. This species of fish secured a habitat for itself by migrating to the deep sea. Praise on Andrea Lepsis. So this 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 whole uh, whole operation probably needs to be a lot deeper and bigger. Okay, fine. Uh, let let's do that. Let, let's get some deep-ish ocean out here. Honestly, I'm halfway tempted to actually just submerge this entire section over here and maybe like slowly raise the rest of this just because. Okay, so let's um let's just get out of this mode. Come back out. Let's make my yeah let's give this guy some room. Oh, it's, it's this one. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna drag this down a bunch. Uh, how much more do I want to drag this all down? I just want some space, really. Feels weird to have an ocean that doesn't go deep. Unfortunately, there's like no easy way. To, it'd be nice if there's like a, a terrain smoothing option. Like, I guess we kind of have the smoothing tool, but, like, it's not smooth enough. Not by my, my standards. And we do have to worry about uh, temperatures here. Well, if that becomes a problem, all I have to do is just, uh... If temperatures become a problem, all I have to do is, uh... Uh, build, I mean, build kill him a wander much, much higher. Okay, so this is, this is probably good enough. Let's get out of here. Let's just, let's just, uh, I guess let's check the guide. Okay, library. So we're looking for you. It's the Ostega, birth temp, much cooler. So, as Quelicanthus flourished, this amphibian was the first to set foot on land. It is not quite adapted fully on land, so it can only emerge near the shore. Okay, and what's the temperature? Much colder! Okay. Well, in that case, let's go back into buildings. Let's, let's start dragging things up a bit. We've got, like, this whole area. Oh, and we're out of... Oh, that's okay. We should probably let uh, some of some of my critters. Oh, hello. We should probably let some of my critters actually like last. Okay, so where where's the? Oh, was this a like a mountaintop critter? Oh, no, 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 no. It's a new plant. I was excited for a second. Okay. Anyway, so a rhinia plant native to warm temperatures. It evolved from Baraguanthia as it spread throughout various regions. That's neat. So I didn't know this, actually, uh, beforehand, but apparently the, uh, the guy that effectively spearheaded this project was the guy that made Harvest Moon. I was not aware. And kind of wish I was, because that's, it's cool. I don't know. I never really played that much for Harvest Moon, admittedly. Oops. Bring that down a bit, and it's this one. I want to get this to be kind of smooth. There we are. But, I don't know. I just thought that was... I thought that was neat. We should try maybe chucking, like, uh... Things of evolution. On whatever. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drag this down a little bit. I don't want to mess with the, uh... The local wildlife. Plus, I kind of like the idea of the the water slowly receding uh, back a little bit. We get some more land mass in here. You know, it cools down. Cools down a bunch. Oops. 
wrong direction. You know, it cools down a bunch, everything is, you know, suddenly a little bit more kind of land dwelly. But everything can kind of adapt. So let's, let's start with that. I'll keep kind of receding, uh, receding the water, probably in more natural ways. I guess, I guess we can kind of feather it a little bit here. Not sure if I'm committed to uh, raising it too much. I guess I could, because part of it is like, uh, technically I could go really high if I wanted to. Let's, let's kind of raise this area up a little bit. This corner, I don't know. I got, I, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit cautious here, because I, I, there, there was a lot of people that were uh, quite offended about me like messing around with uh, with ter terrain generation and stuff like that. I I wonder if uh, to some degree uh, a number of you guys didn't come from like uh, everybody else's videos who were very very focused on um, creature generation. Um, and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. Don't don't get me wrong. I just I don't know. I kind of wanted to just mess around with with the land. It's cool. I put another river in here or something like that. I like rivers. And yes, I know I can make a, a much higher higher river if I felt like it. I just haven't. I don't know. This is fun. Every every bit of this is fun. Don't want to mess too much with that. I hopefully we get the ability to expand the map out a little bit more. That's something I've been hoping on uh, hoping for for a while. Okay, uh, I'm just going to expand this up, oops. I don't know exactly why I'm doing all, all these things here. Uh, I just, you know, I, I want things to get a little bit higher. I want there to be some land for when my dinosaurs finally make it out here. But I think this is me enough messing around. Let's... Let's have a nice... Oh, hi. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're... Oh, hello. We got a bunch of things just pop up right there. Okay, let's, let's check. So we've actually got two new species. I'm getting a lot of freshwater behaviors. Oh, is it you? Even bacteria can get big if they unite as one. That's adorable. A fungal mass that towers over fresh water and wetlands. It decomposes plants such as bear guanthea. Guanthea. Neat. Okay, so that, that was the other one. We still have another critter hanging out here in deep-ish ocean. Oh, it's another starfish. So, wafiroid. An ophiroid that prefers to live at the bottom of the sea instead of in the shallows. Cute. I don't really feel like using seeds of mutation. I'm, I'm kind of right now just zenning out here. I figured I'm just I'm just going to explore what we can do naturally, and at some point I'll mess around with uh, everything else. Okay, we've got some new new things already. We're getting lots of new critters, or we were until it may have died off already. Well, happens, I guess. There we go. I thought we had a new group, but I guess we're just getting more people showing up. Okay, that is definitely something new. Please be something new. Okay, yep, yeah, nope, we do have two new things here. We might have actually had, um, we might have had them all along. Oh, palm trees, nice. If I can get close, there we go. It's odd that you have to get it in like a specific camera location, but that's okay. Height land, huge trees that grow in wet earth in warm climates, differentiated from Skyadophyton. Skyadophyton? I don't know. This must be like a, a paleontologist sort of, uh, like dream game to some degree. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Either way, we've leveled up, and life is going really well. Or it's not. I have no idea. For all I know, this could be, like, painfully slow in comparison to everything else. Oh, hello. 
But yes, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be <laughs> stopping every time we get a new species, because the more I do that, the more I level up. Okay, so, jeez. This entire area is... Oh, no, 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 no. These, these green ones are new. Okay, Leprototaxites. Taxites. A pro prototaxites that adapt to life in hot, arid lands and can decompose a variety of organisms. Okay, what's the other one? Ah, oh, some kind of scrub grass. Okay, autumn fern. A plant that can grow in any warm climate. Differentiated from Skyodophyton. Okay, back we go. The ocean is still looking pretty dang um, populated. I'm actually halfway tempted to do like a, a free free mode run. I'm just going to let them go for a bit. They don't seem to be disappearing on me. Um, okay, that's probably good enough. Let's get in there. One of their populations is not going up that fast. Holy crap, we are covered in vegetation. Um... Mount Kilima Wander is paying dividends. It's probably because it's cooler up there. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um. Do do do. A plant that thrives in warm, dry climates. It's differentiated from the proliferation of Sky Dofitin. I don't know. There's probably somebody that's good at prehistoric. Uh, biology, and they're just like, oh, the pronunciation is terrible. Anyway, it's Skydofitin that has adapted to warm wetlands. Okay, and we get some more items. Still probably want to reduce the temperature a bit more around here. I guess I could do it if I wanted to. I guess, actually, let's, uh, let's get out of this. Let's make this big. I'm just gonna kind of raise up this area. Actually, do we have, do we have an item that I could use? Field source. Warm chill. We could actually cool the area by 10, 10 degrees Celsius. That's a huge area, though. Kind of don't want to do it. Okay. Let's raise this area a couple of times. Okay, let's see if I can use the field source. Okay, if I use this item. Huh. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna make a... Um, I'm gonna make a hill over here. I don't... I don't know. I don't think I'm, I have a name for this one. I think I just... I'm just making a hill. It's kind of an odd hill. And yes, it's gonna be symmetrical, dang it. Or it's symmetrical-ish. Up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Yee. That looks nice. I think we got, like, a bit of a straggler here from this spare hill. Okay, there we go. Life is good. I'm gonna raise that up. Don't question it. I'm in, like, ultra chill mode right now. I like it. Maybe I should play this game late at night more often. Okay, and... Let's, let's, let's keep... Let's... Oops keep messing around. Actually, hold on. Maybe, maybe I stumbled upon something kind of neat. Hmm. I could do this. Okay, let's do item. Let's do a river source. Item, river source. And then if I just lower this... Twice. Is this no? Really? Huh. I'm suddenly disappointed that this basin isn't taking. There we are. Okay. I might be able to force this. I wonder if it dries up if I deforce this. I have no idea. I'm just messing around. 
you're like towing the line for hotter temperatures or colder temperatures. Anyway, if I do that, okay, cool. So we've got this like kind of weird basin thing. I don't know. It's neat. Okay, here's the question. If I raise this with whoop. Ah shit. Okay, well I got a bunch more river sources. Um hmm. Trying to decide what to do here. I wanna get the river to or I wanna get a big waterfall. Maybe do something like this. It's gonna look a little silly. Okay. I'll have to expand the mountain around or something like that. Anyway, um, so I've done that. Let's use item. Whoops. Hold on. That was... Okay, do I have river source? No, I don't. There we go. Okay, then we want to lower that down. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. Maybe I should just give up on this whole thing. No, I shouldn't. There we go. That looks cool. Looks... A bit odd. It looks cool. And then I'll have to, like, add some bits here and there. We'll figure that out later. I'm just messing around with weird geography. At least the, like, weird squared-off ocean is starting to disappear. That was kind of a major sticking point for me. I just, I just didn't like it. It didn't look good. Anyway. Let's just let this go. And we might have a couple of extinctions, but that's, that's, that's life. The other thing I wouldn't mind doing at some point, I want more space for it, but I want to get a, uh, I'm going to get like a desert location somewhere around. That'd be kind of nice. Anyway, yeah, I think we'd need to keep lowering the temperature around here. Oh, hello, we got a new one. I mean, worse comes to worse, we just play gotta catch them all until we finally until we finally get the thing we're looking for okay oh, we've got a couple of them over here it's probably this like weird grass no it's whatever this is still no amphibian creatures it's probably because the temperature is still a little bit high yeah it is okay I'm just gonna crazy fly past everything the other issue is maybe the uh, Quillacanths aren't, like, really able to reach land. Oh well. At some point it'll work. Or it won't. Da. 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 Hi. Okay, we are, we're no longer in deep ocean, maybe. The one thing I could mess around with if I really wanted to. Um. Where am I? Let's see, left bumper, right, okay. Yeah, for whatever reason, we were not scaled to the camera there. Okay, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna let it keep going for the time being. I mean, we are getting plenty of cola cans, so it should be okay. I think we just need, I think we do legitimately need to make it cooler. Well, we could try it. Okay, let's go around. Might kill a bunch of things. Oh, well, if that's the case, that happens. Okay, I'm gonna toss a cool stone right there. Let's see what happens. Things are on the verge of extinction. Yeah, well, that happens, that happens. It's life after all. It'd be kind of interesting if you could somehow manage to get a totally balanced world. That is able, that is capable of, uh... Oh. Well, they spawned and then they died, so I guess I should probably go back. I was gonna go check them out, and then they died. Thank you, Fast Forward. Well, that's okay. I don't care too much about the verge of extinction. Or maybe I should, I don't know. That cold stone could be a problem. Everything could be a problem. I have no idea. Oh, and they're still dead. Well, they're trying really hard. Maybe I should make another mount kill him a something or other. 
I mean, it looks like most of my stuff's kind of doing an okay job. Yeah, let's, um... Let's get over here. What's the temperature? I mean, it should be about... about right. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay. And... So I'm just gonna slowly kind of raise this area up. Really wish... Wait, can I... I was really hoping I could go bigger than this. It would have been neat. Huh. Uh, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm pressing, pressing the wrong button with some of these things. Uh, let's lower that down. I'm just, th I'm just throwing random terrain now. Kind of doesn't matter too much to me. I just, I just want, I just want maybe, maybe one. One critter. Okay. I mean, we could always just toss down the cold stone again. Get some ice cream. I mean, it's summertime now, right? No, I think it's still spring around here. Could be wrong. I'm terrible with the seasons. It's just not my thing. The other thing we can mess around is, like, with the weather. Uh, let's see what the items do. So we've got vigorous vegetation. Plant life in the given area. Warmth. Uh, let's see. Minimum temperature. So we really just gotta get the shoreline temp down a bunch. Okay. Yeah, let's let's pull out the cold stone again. I'm just I'm just gonna put it here. Well, that should be the shoreline. Okay, and let's go back out. Yeah, since this is the corner, it shouldn't mess around with everything's time. Oh, Heliophyllum is actually uh, still alive. We can take a picture of it, even if they're probably invariably going to die because they're in the cold spot. Oh, it's a uh, oceanic creature, and... Eh, you know, it might actually be okay. Coral that lives among Cyclomedusa in warm shallows. It also serves as a habitat for Andreolepsis. And we level up. Sweet. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I make my cursor even bigger? I can. Sweet. Yet more, yet more sculpting. Soon, Kilo Mount Kilimawander will be large. I should make, like, a ziggurat somewhere. I guess I do have a ziggurat. Should make it more ziggurati. And we don't got the room for it. Originally, I was not going to mess around with the terrain because I didn't want to get rid of the vegetation. <sighs> Look at that. Okay, let's um let's see if we can mess around a little bit more. I'm gonna toss a vegetation thing up here. I want to see what kind of like weird mountain plants we can get. Okay, and that's enough. Okay, life. What are you gonna throw at us today? And we stop, because we got a thing of a do. Maybe two. Well, maybe the cold stone up here, maybe maybe the lure of ice cream is actually actually working. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, Silo Phyton. Grass that grows alongside the autumn fern in various lands with warm climates. And... These controls are kind of messy. We have red fern, a fern that grows on cool savanna plains. It appeared where myopterises proliferate. Okay, words. Let's start time again. Let's see what we end up with. And the coelacanths seem to be doing fine. And we got tons of them. Oh, did we get it? I think we got it. A, a new organism has taken its first step onto land. They grow up so fast. The noble amphibian, bound to its watery domain, until the day comes when it adapts to land and becomes a reptile. Life's a trip. What does evolution even mean? That's what's meant to be. Uh, be uh, that what's meant to be will be. Is it all predetermined? All right. Here's some extra info before we move on. Are you making sure to capture new organisms as their birth? I'll show you some useful tricks for capturing organisms that make use of the minimap. 
You can change what information displays on the minimap by pressing left bumper plus directions. You can display everything, display animals, uncaptured organisms. Okay. You can also magnify and shrink the minimap. And we can also grow and shrink it. Okay. Based on the data so far, we need reptiles in order to progress the world further. So you must birth the Demetrodon. A location with little water should be fine, but check game info for more details. Okay, so we want to do minimap display. Let's go with uh, new critters. Actually, they seem to have kind of popped up all over the place. Alright. He's kind of adorable. Ichthyostega. As Quelacanthus flourished, the, this amphibian was the first to set foot on land. God, I really want to play a mon monster capture game that just looks like this. It'd be great. Okay, where's the where's the new critter? It's whatever this is. Is it another land critter? Oh nope. Aglaophyton. A mutated Silophyton that is adapted to warm savannas. Okay. We've got an item over here. Here's the thing. We've got this guy. How many of them are there? It's the Ostega. There's only a couple. Do you have an item? Do you have any items that will make them flourish? Global cooling. Interesting. Seed of mutation. Seed of evolution. Eh. We'll figure it out. Or they won't. They'll all die. It's interesting that you popped up there, though. I was kind of expecting it to pop up elsewhere. Oh, either way. How's he doing? Itch the Ostega. I don't see him. I think he's still there. Okay. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. In fact, they're freaking all over the place. We have like a hundred thousand of them. So I think we're good, actually. I'll have to mess around with, uh global populations a little bit. Honestly, I think I just need to mess with the maps more. I might have to ra uh, raise... Yeah, how many, how many of you suckers are there? Hundreds of thousands. Wow. Okay. I guess the other thing is we can just chuck a seed of evolution at him. Eh, that's lame though. We don't, we don't get too many of those. But yeah, they're all over the place. Oh, that's cute. I like that. How's this area doing? Nice and chilly. Comparatively. I mean, 24 degrees Celsius is actually pretty close to room temperature, so I guess it's not that chilly. Either way, though, uh, honestly, we haven't progressed that much, but the world is slowly taking shape around here. I'm probably going to nuke the two ziggurats that I have in favor of making some more big mountains. Uh, I mean, the other thing I could do is actually uh, extend Mount Kilimanjaro all the way over to the, to the mid-ocean ziggurat. And uh, work from work from there. I really hate the square shapes in this map. It just doesn't look good. Uh, one way or another, though, I think this is a great stopping point. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Birthdays: The Beginning. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm sorry, it was like ultra chill today. I don't know. This has just been a long day. <laughs>